Hi everyone, it's Lauren here. I'm back with another blog. I know it's been a while and I've not been doing many blogs recently. That's just because I've been struggling a lot with my mental health and I've been working on it and that. And today's blog is going to be on autism and parties. Now I know one of my first ever autism blogs I did on YouTube was an autism and party blog, like talking about like different parties and that and how it made me feel and stuff. But this blog is going to go into depth on like two parties I've been to recently and just talk about the reality of what it's like to be an autistic person going to a party and how much that can like make me anxious, end up having meltdowns, um, how it triggers sensory overload, all those kinds of things. So I hope you guys enjoy this blog and make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. Let's go. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, probably might have known that I had two parties on one Saturday last month um, and basically it was very tiring and I probably won't be doing any two parties in one day anytime soon. Probably won't be doing many parties anytime soon, let alone two in one day because it was really exhausting and I didn't think about how tiring it could be. But um, yeah, like I basically, um, yeah, two parties in one day and it was, f yeah, it was a lot. Um, I wouldn't um recommend it, not for an autistic person anyway. Um, I think even for a neurotypical two parties in one day would have been a lot, let alone for someone like me. But um, I'm gonna just like discuss the parties in detail and how it went and how it affected me as an autistic person and all that. So even though I knew about these two parties in events, there was in advance there was still a lot of like preparation to do beforehand, like buying the presents for the people. I had about five different things to buy for people in March, so it was a very busy and full on month. But well, why I took like a week holiday in April. Um, April was a pretty tiring month as well, but I'm not going to go into detail on that one just now. But basically, um, yeah, it was a lot, and obviously having to like get my makeup ready, get my outfit ready, um make sure everything was like prepared and there's just a lot of preparation that goes into like before even going to a party let alone um like being at the parties on the day so there was a lot like going on and I had a lot to do throughout the month of March as it was so I was already tired like before the day arrived you know. So the first party I went to was at one o'clock and it was for like one of my friend's babies and um that party was good and all that However, there, it was like really like tiring beforehand because basically um, my friends got stuck in the bridge because the bridge like had issues in that. Um, so that made me like really anxious and really on the edge because I hate being late to things because I get like a set time in my head and if I'm late it just really makes me nervous. So I didn't show it at the time because like I didn't want to put it down on the, on the afternoon but I was very stressed about that. I think it did put me on the edge a wee bit, if I'm being honest, um, because we were like about 10 minutes late to the party, which isn't really that late, but for an autistic person like me who likes routine and likes things to be precise, it was quite a lot. And then like, yeah, and basically um, once that party was over, I did have three and a half hours to rest in between, but even that wasn't enough because of like, there was already like, my routine already changed slightly and um, I was already tired from like a lot of socialising because like there was a lot of people at that party so I was socialising with a lot of people, lots of people that I don't usually see in my day to day life so it was a lot, you know what I mean. Um, if I just did that party in one day I probably would have been fine but obviously I had another party to go to later and there was that as well. Obviously the bridge like closing, that was out of my friend's control, there was like nothing they can do about that but then basically um it was time for the next party and then my boyfriend was going to be meet me at my house but he came like straight from work so he went and got food from the chippy um and that was different because I didn't know he was going to do that for he was just going to come straight to my house and have food at, at, like where he was at work so that kind of threw me off so basically um I had to like yeah I was already ready obviously I was all dressed for um my friend's party so I was all ready and I had my makeup on so I was all ready in that way but um I had been up early doing all that obviously to like get prepared for that party you know what I mean and then um yeah basically um we we went we walked down to the party it was raining so we had to like bring umbrellas and that um to keep drying stuff and um I didn't and my boyfriend was actually already in the venue and I wasn't expecting that so basically I came in and I was basically straight into straight into the party rush and it was like 
and again there was a, like a lot of people so I knew there'd be like a lot of socialising and a lot to like take in and the minute I walked in I was already feeling pretty overwhelmed and I hadn't seen my family, a lot of these family members in like years so it was a lot, it was like a lot for me. Um, plus I couldn't really like settle down until I knew what my boyfriend was doing for like dinner and that and making sure that he knew the venue was and he was going to get there okay so all that kind of put me on the edge why I would have preferred for him to come to the house first and then we could have walked down and I knew he would be okay he got there and everything because like my boyfriend's really good with like using google maps and getting himself to places so there was no issues there but the thing I was worried about was his phone going out of charge so I was like because he had been out of work all day you know what I mean so I was like oh my god I hope it'll be okay but when he was there I guess it eased my mind a wee bit but I was still feeling pretty nervous because I knew there'd be like a lot of socialising going on. And then once I got to the venue I thought well I'll just get myself a drink and that will help me, it'll help me with socialising, it'll help me like relax a wee bit, um, um, take the ner maybe flush the nerves away, you know what I mean? So I got myself a drink, um, I got like a Summon Comfort lemonade, I had it, it didn't do anything though, if anything actually it had the complete opposite effect, it made me feel even more stressed and even more anxious. And then like it got to a point that I could only give like one word answers and my family were obviously concerned about that and everything. And like it felt like everyone was having so much fun while I felt like a complete outcast. Like I just felt like I was there and just felt like I didn't belong. Even though I did belong, obviously I love my family and like they're amazing and everything. But I think because of my autism and my struggles with socialising, sometimes like, these things can be so overwhelming for me that just... It doesn't feel like my place, you know what I mean? Like, I don't do the best, I don't deal the best with social events as it is, and it's never anything against anyone around me. It's just I get overwhelmed by these things easily, and that's why I don't do birthday parties because I just I just can't do them. I, I only like go out for like meals with my family or go with my boyfriend or whatever. I couldn't do parties because. I'd be too worried about thinking will the people turn up, will it go to plan, all these, it'd just, it'd just be far too much for me, which is why I, I don't do birthday parties. The last time I ever had a birthday party was my 10th birthday party in Losh, um, and that was back when my parents would organise it for me, but I wouldn't like to like try and organise it myself because it would be a lot. And then that was it, I kind of just broke down in tears, um, I tried to keep myself together, I tried to keep strong, but I just couldn't, I just crumbled, I just, I just... I couldn't do it anymore, I was just so overwhelmed, I think I was just like so burnt out and tired and I didn't have any energy anymore and I just, I just, yeah, I just didn't feel very great and um, yeah, in that moment I just felt like a complete failure, like I ruined the whole party because I didn't want it, my emotions to get the better of me, I wanted to go there and have a good time and like show my family that I can do it but it was just, it was just too much, it was just... At that point I was thinking, God, I really shouldn't have gone to two parties in one day. But I didn't want to let anyone down. Like, I wanted to be there for my, my auntie. I wanted to be there for my friend's baby, for her party. Like, like, and it was just a lot, just so much in one day. Which is why I took the next day off work, so I can have that day to completely rest. And, like, so that I was, like, refreshed for work on the Monday. Because I think I went back to work on the Monday. But, yeah, it was, like, yeah, it was a lot. And... It was just, it wasn't very fun for me. The night did start to get better. I started to get my energy back after getting like really stressed. I went on the dance floor and had a few dances with my family, but I was still like really exhausted and I still knew that I would be like, it'd just be a complete rest day the next day. I knew the next day I wouldn't be able to do anything. I'd just have to like, <laughs> as soon as my boyfriend went back home, I knew I'd have to just like lie in my bed and just be like, do nothing. So I knew I'd be like too overwhelmed. But then other neurotypicals, they would just do something straight off the next day and it wouldn't even bother them. But for me, I couldn't like I couldn't like stay up to like 2 a.m. on a work uh, on a work night, right? And then wake up next morning and do a 8, 8 a.m. shift on a hangover. No, I would not survive. Even on a two o'clock start, it would be really hard for me. Because that's just the way my brain works. As an autistic person, I get worse hangovers. Because I remember because I saw a TikTok video on a, a autistic creator, can't remember which one, but one said of them said that if autistic people and people with ADHD get worse hangovers, I think it's just because of everything we're processing. I don't know the actual facts to it, but it makes sense because me and Damien get such bad hangovers and we're autistic, which seems very coincidental and 
I know Dane gets a lot of ringing in his ears after a night out and that can be a lot for him as well and I just feel really tired. <laughs> My boyfriend was staying the night at my house and I started like really badly overthinking so I wrote a note to my parents and left it on the living room, living room about exactly how I was feeling but my mum thought I was just drunk because my handwriting on it wasn't the neatest but the reason my handwriting wasn't the neatest is because I was so tired and so like burnt out but I couldn't really process anything so I just kind of was just writing it, just writing my words quickly on how I was feeling because sometimes I just rush things down when I'm like really, really like stressed. So it was actually a genuine note. My mum was questioning that, thinking I was just drunk or something, which I understood, but I was, I guess I was a bit tipsy, but I was certainly wasn't drunk because I didn't have a lot. I just, I was just really tired, so I couldn't have much, you know. Basically the reality of going to two parties in one day as an autistic person. Like this would be tiring for anyone, but for me it could take days or even weeks to get over like the, the tiredness and burnout from like doing so much socialising one day. Because socialising does not come naturally to me because I'm processing so much information around me. Like everything's louder around me, everything smells more, like as in the food and that, you know what I mean? Everything like, um is brighter for me, like bright lights are really like straining for me, why I, oh, I always my phone light so low, um, all the senses are a lot for me, they all trigger me, um, like all the socialising, like trying to understand people's jokes, read body language, read facial expressions, all these things are not easy for me and they don't come naturally for me, like eye contact doesn't either, it's like so there's a lot of neurotypical norms that don't come naturally to me as an autistic person why socialising at a party is so hard for me and why it takes so much mental preparation beforehand and so much mental preparation but after the party. Like the re like I have to whenever I'm gonna be doing a social event, I have to think about how many days I'll need to recover. And then from that, how many days will I take off from work? You know what I mean? Like I have taken off another week in June. That's just gonna be a week of like <laughs> celebrating my birthday, <laughs> basically. Um gonna do something nice for my birthday and probably go to Edinburgh with my, Edinburgh with my boyfriend and like book a hotel or something so that'd be nice but yeah it is a lot um I certainly won't be going to two parties in one day anytime soon and yeah it was well I appreciate being invited to the birthday parties and I did try my best to get through them it was really hard for me and um I'm going up for a meal for my, for my best friend's birthday on Saturday which would be amazing we're going to give you some so I love it in there, it's so good, so so good, honestly it's lovely, like if you're around that area or you've come to that area just go, I recommend it, but amazing cocktails, amazing food, Um, I think I most likely will have a pizza because I love pizza, Um, so yeah I'll probably do that and like definitely a cocktail, I love cocktails, I have to get one of the cocktails because they're like so amazing, Um, I love her for cocktails, Um, I love cocktails and mocktails, like anything fruity I love, but yeah anyway, um. Um, that's the reality, going to two parties in one day as an autistic person. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone for watching this vlog. I was meant to film this vlog like a month ago, but I just never found the time or energy to film it. But I film it, it now and yeah, that's the reality of going to two parties in one day when you're autistic like me. Um, I hope that was a very informative vlog. Next time I'll try and do a more relaxed, fun vlog. Um, just to, like even things out a bit but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully more vlogs will be getting filmed now that I'm taking more time to rest um I don't think there'll be another vlog up next week because I'm working quite a lot so finding the time is going to be a bit difficult a bit tricky but and I and, and I'm always like really tired after to work because all the mental preparation like I said to go into like a social setting you know what I mean but um but yeah, I'll definitely try and get some autism posts up though, if that's all I can do. And also, there's another thing I was going to mention. Basically, my autism Watts pad book, I've been taking a break from it at the moment because I'm a bit stuck on it. And basically, I've got so many ideas for it that I'm getting a bit confused. Like, some of my chapters are really lengthy, some other chapters don't have enough detail in them. And it's just trying to think of how to go around it and um, make it to a story that. I'd want it to make sense obviously and be like meatful but so I'm just taking a wee break from it the now and I might go back to it maybe like next month or a couple months down the line or whatever but 
my autism book will is not the book has not been forgotten about i will be writing it still it's just i'm taking a wee break from it for the time being and because obviously i'm at the house being poor at the moment as well so i'm trying to work on that more but it will definitely get done i promise that but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you guys for the next vlog bye for now